American Music Awards on ABC. Brought to you by the T-Mobile G1 with Google. Everything you love about the web, now on a phone. Yeah, um, so yes, we did it. Um, Barack Obama, how do you feel? She's feeling amazing. Where were you when you heard the announcement that he had won? Well, actually, Barack and I played basketball earlier that day, and then um, I was there at Grand Park, you know, in the tent, so. How were you feeling? Like, I was crying, and I saw Oprah Winfrey crying. What jacket I have on. That's really, that looks really good. <laughs> UCLA TV. Oh, hey. So go ahead. Yeah, I'm not saying um, I, 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 I was crying and Oprah was crying. How were you feeling like when you were in the crowd and he was making it? Yeah, it's just, you know, this is a special time, but we have to make sure we have to keep volunteering. We have to keep doing our work. So, oh, I better go. I better go. Jonas, what up, Mama? How does it feel for you? Oh, it's a good thing, you know what I mean? It's a good thing. What up? They got the legend right there, yeah. running over there. That's a good thing, though. What up? And um, what are you, you, with so many albums, and you've done so, so much, what's next for you guys? Well, movies, you know what I mean? You see, you'll see me on the, on the silver screen, either making movies or directing them. Yeah. The Man with the Iron Fist. Watch out for that movie, yo. The documentary is out on you guys, and how's, how, how was that, how was that um, when it was being made? Well, that was something that was done by an independent director who was uh, yeah, Joe Barkley, you know what I mean? Uh, and he, I think he did a good job. He went and he t told his told the story from his eyes, you know what I mean? So I just, when I saw it, I just saw it. I didn't know what to expect, you know what I mean? And uh, I enjoyed it. Now, you're a legendary uh, producer and uh, you're a very conscious uh, writer as well. What do you think about um, the the current economic times? Oh, the times is hard, yo. But but one, one thing we got to keep in mind, times always been hard for, for, for black people and brothers in the hood. So whether it's a recession or, or it ain't no recession, yeah. it's hard in the hood, you know what I mean? So the hood, don't, it don't change too much. But um, So what's your message of encouragement then during these times as well? I think when times get hard, you got to work harder. Okay. okay, is that what you're doing? Yeah, I'm working harder, you know what I mean? I started to take the vacation in December, uh -huh. but you know what I say, you know what? They offer some money to work in December, I'm going to work. Now with Barack being um, uh, elected to president, what does that mean for you, um, you know, individually? It means a lot to me. Personally, it means clean up my own act. Okay make my own self better, you know what I mean? Because he's a great representation of how good we could be, how great we could be. Okay. You know what I'm saying? People always say, Rizzo, you great, you great. But you know what? I'm going to be greater. And how do you, you know, and how do you keep up uh, with the greatness? Like, how do you get to the next level? What do you do, whether it's creativity or Well, business? Well, one thing I do, I, I, I bear witness to the Holy Bible okay. and the Holy Quran, you know what I mean? So I try to stay in tune with, with, with God, you know what I'm saying? Or I properly call Allah. I stay in tune with that first and foremost. And by being in tune with, 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 with the Most High, you're in tune with the universe. And so no matter what comes at me, it's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, because I got my father protecting me, yo. Your documentary was also launched on the day that um, ODB uh, passed. And how's, how's the family keeping up, uh, you guys as a, as a group? You know, we're going through, you know, uh, I like to call it yin and yang, ping pong. It's like a ping pong, one side, one side. But you know what? We're still here. And uh, I say, if there's a day, there's a way. Now you guys, your impact is so worldwide. I'm from Africa. Um, what's your message? What's your message to even um, the you know people in Africa? Well, let me just give it to you in, a, in the word peace, right? I, I break it down. It's positive education, always correct errors. See, we all live in errors sometimes. We don't know what we don't know our history. We don't know what, why things are happening the way they are. But become educated about it, and so you can correct the wrongs. If you don't know, you don't know. You know, we watch on TV, we see all the wars in Africa, or we see the, the um, we see like um, uh, the uh, genocide and all that, and we don't know why, what, where it's coming from, you know what I mean? So we got to educate ourselves on it, so we say, okay, that's why that's causing that to happen. Now, what's the solution? So that's the only way you're going to bring peace is through knowledge and education and wisdom, you know what I mean? Excellent. And who are you looking forward to seeing perform tonight? Well, tonight you got so many different artists with so many different brands of music. I'm just here like a, it's like a, it's like a uh, uh, what they call it in uh, Louisiana, gumbo. Yeah, Louisiana gumbo. You know what I mean, just take the flavor, baby. So I'm told there are a few surprises. Uh, do you do you know what the surprises are? I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. I seen a few people pull up. I seen Chris Brown jump over there. Maybe he'll get on stage and get his Neo is in the house. Nickel back over there. We we'll see. We we'll see who jump on that stage. You know what I mean? Well, thank you so much. That was Rizzo with Wu Tang. Thank you. Respect, baby.